with your results. You're going to have some data when you're done. Becky Williams' science class is not traditional. You have to analyze it and interpret the data to see what really happened. She doesn't teach from behind a desk. She's out front, sitting on a stool, while sharing scientific knowledge with no barriers. That's pretty cool. So these guys really are the big adapters. Unless, of course, she's outside bringing science to life. You want to test that? She's so great because she she's a very good hands-on teacher. So every single thing, not every single thing we do, but most things we do is hands-on and involved so that everybody likes it and so that we enjoy it. And she, most of the time, does it with us. Honestly, it's just like her personality and her humor is like, she's like kind of down to earth and like, is like basically a child like us, but in an adult body. You don't find that much in the classroom, which is probably why Becky's class is the highlight of the day for many of her students. Becky loves teaching science, but the reason she loves it is decidedly unscientific. We have these kids with us for you know several months. You add up the minutes, you add up the time together. To know that many people and to have to fall in love with that many people and know them and to know them at this amazing age at 10, 11, when they are, you know, the girls, no makeup yet. They are just exactly who they're supposed to be, you know, the, the mess that they are. Um, the strengths and the weaknesses that they are, um, and then to be able to, to see them you know, grow and change over time, that's just amazing. Approaching science class like that makes Becky a better teacher, but it also gives her students a safety net that can help solve problems not found on the periodic table. It makes us feel loved and that like whenever we're in a tough time, we know that she's almost like a parent to us and she cares about us and will do anything that like we need school-wise or life-wise, and uh, we'll just help us through it no matter what. The day that I decide I no longer love my students, I, it's probably time for me to <laughs> move on to something else. I mean, you know someone's name, and you know something about them, and you know what their struggles are, and you know what their, you celebrate their successes, and you sit next to each other, and you talk, and you do things together, and you get to know each other. How can you not? love them. Which is proof that sometimes the best way to teach science is from the heart.